So you've got a question about uh, making a slice. And the easiest way to understand making a slice is just go to the Go Playground. And uh, we could do a slice with a short declaration operator. And, uh, and we could also do it with um, composite literal. So that's a short declaration operator. And then we could have a slice of int and composite literal. And composite literal is the type, and then curly braces, and then the values. So composite literal is the type. That's a slice of int and the curly braces, and then values. And, uh, and then we could print that out. So that's like the easiest way to create a slice. I'm just going to go over some stuff here. And then we could look at the length and the cap on that. So we could do length and also cap on each of those. And so, uh, and I'll show you what the length and the cap is here in a second. So there's the length and the cap. And, um, the length is uh, the length of the slice, which is four elements, and then the cap is the length of the underlying array. So slice points to an underlying array. A slice is a data structure with three parts. It points to um, it points to the underlying array, right? It's a pointer to an underlying array, and uh, and then also has the length, and then it has the cap. So slice is a data structure with three parts. And uh, we can make a slice. So uh, we'll just do ii is uh, var. Let's do ii colon equal make. And uh, we're going to do a slice event. And, uh, and then we could just put in if we wanted to four. And that's going to set both length and cap to four. All right. And so now we could do a slice event is ii, and we could start accessing things by index position. And, uh, and then if I print this out, all right. That's what it looks like. So these have all been initialized to a zero value. And uh, yeah, and they're ready to store, ready to store elements there. So I could add up through, you know, index elements. Let's do this. Position one. So this is position zero, position one, two, three. Run. But I can't do this. because that position doesn't exist yet. Bam, runtime error. But I can do this. ii is equal to append to ii some value. So I could append to it, and then if I do that, right, it added in 46, length became 5, cap became 8. The underlying array, the size of the underlying array is uh, 8. And so now I could add new elements without increasing the cap, right, without having to go through creating a new array. Now we have 6, and I could do that all the way up to 8. So that's 6. This is a uh, I guess we'll just do it like that. Right, now it's 8, 8. And now if I pin one more, that's going to probably go to 16, the way that algorithm works. Sixteen. Okay. So the under, underlying size of that array, the underlying array is uh, has a size of 16, and my slice is holding nine elements. Now, if I wanted to, I could make uh, my slice like this. And so I'll just do, uh, I've done what, xi and ii. I'll do vi, whatever, or si, slice of i, colon equal make. And we could do a slice event. And we could say, hey, my length is going to be 10. And my underlying array is going to be 1,000. My cap is going to be 1,000. And so now what that does is if I if I wanted to, I could just do SI0 
is equal to 42. And then I could do SI append 43 and uh, print all that out. And so here my underlying ray is a length of a thousand and uh, my slice has a, uh, a length of 11. So this is the length, this is the cap, right? The cap is the length of underlying ray. When I did position zero right here, that put 42 there. And when I did a pin, it put that into position 11, which made that 11. So that's, uh, that's kind of like the two ways of using make. You could specify the length and the cap, or you could just specify the length and the cap at the same time, right, and set them to the same value. And so when you look at the documentation for this, right, the make built-in function allocates and initializes an object of type slice, map, or chan. Like new, the first argument is a type, not a value. Uh, unlike new, so, you know, it's a type, right? We created a type here. Make, first argument is a type. Make that. Um, unlike, uh, Unlike new, makes return type is the same as the type of its argument, not a pointer to it. Uh, the specification of the result depends on the type. Slice, the size specifies the length, right? So there's the length. The capacity of the slice is equal to its length. So that's if we only have one value, the capacity is equal to length, length and cap. A second integer argument may be provided to specify a different cap. Uh, it must be no smaller than the length. So make 0, 10 allocates a slice of length 0 and capacity 10. So that's what I just saw in that video or just showed in that code. So I hope that's helpful to you. If you want to check out this code, you can find that right here. UDTSAXU6. I don't know what that is. I or L. Looks like a, let's try just doing a capital L. I don't know. Boom, boom. Uh, it looks like a capital I and then a D. So let's just confirm that it's capital I and there's the code so it's capital I so you can go to that URL if you want to see that code I hope this helped by the way check out greater commons uh, greatercommons.com